Hey guys, how's it going? Epos here, and today you are watching some Regicide on Halo 4. This is their free-for-all match. Um, it is kind of like VIP from the older Halos, where the guy who is in the lead becomes the VIP, and everybody kind of goes after him. But it's still a free-for-all match in that you can kill everyone else, try and prevent someone else from killing the king and things like that. And in this match, I am the king. Yes, indeed. Um, I want to talk about some tactics I've been using because I know a lot of people may be struggling to learn how to play Halo 4 compared to other Halo games. Um, and coming from my perspective, being that I kind of retired from Halo for quite a while there, and so tactics that I'm using to get back into the game. The most important thing that you want to work on from the start of you playing Halo will be your map knowledge. You really gotta learn the maps, you gotta learn all the different traffic areas, you gotta learn how each little corner, each choke point reacts to the armor abilities because that is what these maps are built around and that is how they're really going to be able to play out and that is why the game is as fast paced as it is despite the maps being huge and that is because they are built around these armor abilities. There are certain areas on one of the maps where you can only really get, there's you can jump down it, but you can't get back up without the jetpack, because that's a little area that the jetpack can come kind of back up. And so you, you really just got to learn what you can do with that. In this match, you see me using, maybe not a lot, but every once in a while, you see me using my Prometheum, Promethean Vision. I primarily stick with this one thus far because I use the, I still haven't moved off of the bumper jumper layout, button layout, and without that or without like changing the button for your armor ability which is for me on x i can't really do anything because like i said it's on x so i can't control the joystick to jetpack or anything like that while holding x so i just use promethean vision it helps me out helps me find campers helps me see when people are going to run at me when i'm trying to like hide around a corner from them things like that so learn your maps get your map knowledge down a good way to do this of course is either to just straight up play the game, I mean, there's nothing wrong with just playing the game to learn how the maps go, and then there is also playing custom games with your friends, learning um, map, blah blah blah, learning map callouts, learning which point you're going to use for different things. When I play with B Diddy, M Vito, BBK Dragoon, Mr. Random, they all already have callouts, and those are extremely helpful for our communication when we're playing together. Not only are those useful for communication, though, but they're also useful for learning, you know, where the map is. If you can memorize callouts, then you generally know the layout of the map, and you can better identify where people are going to be, where they're going to spawn, things like that. And another good thing about learning maps is you can figure out all the cool grenade points, all the cool points where you have like a slight line of sight on someone and they can't really see you. You gotta take advantage of all of those. A big, big screw up with me playing games in the past, or like first person shooters in the past, is I never really took advantage of the map knowledge that I had. I, I would learn maps and I would find, you know, way, places where grenades worked for other people or myself in little areas where I could see people and they couldn't see me or they, you know, didn't realize I could see them. And I just kind of ran around the map like a little, you know, as Wings of Redemption calls it, the baby buffalo, just like everyone else. You have to actually use the map knowledge you gain, otherwise there's no point in gaining it. Um, vehicle usage, even if, well, even if you're, you're personally not going to use the vehicle, either make sure it's secured for your teammates to use, or if they're not going to use it either, just go on and destroy it. And there's, you don't want a vehicle lying around that your enemy can take advantage of. So if you're for sure your teammates aren't going to use it, and you're not about to jump in and mow some people down, then go on and destroy it. Make sure you know where the vehicles are as well. Again, map knowledge. Make sure you know where the vehicles are, when they're going to respawn. That way, if your enemy team's around there, you know you got to disable the vehicle or get the hell out of Dodge as soon as that vehicle pops up. On this map, they have ghosts, and those are extremely annoying to deal with on this map. And at the same time, anytime I've jumped in a ghost on this map, you really can't do much. Like, I can't kill anyone. I can splatter a couple people who just kind of derped up and got in the way, and I can start shooting at others, but everybody generally plays pretty smart, so I don't know why it's so hard for me to deal with them. But, whatever. Um, there... Again, you want to... 
you just want to keep playing. That's the biggest thing is keep playing and be observant when you're playing. Too many people get too discouraged by not playing well when they do jump in a game and then they think they just suck and either stop playing or just accept that they're never going to do well. And that's not how you got to do it. You got to start paying attention to the surroundings around you when you're playing. You got to, you know, see, okay, I keep getting killed in this area. Figure out why that is and respond to it. Change how you play, change how you react in that area, things like that. Figure it out and you'll be good to go. Another thing is to figure out, you know, if you're playing someone consistently, like the same people, or either the same kind of player consistently, then figure out where they're gonna go. Figure out, you know, okay, this team, as soon as, you know, as soon as a group of people comes off this spawn, then they're always gonna head and down this hallway or whatever. So you know that when they spawn there, you can at least chuck a few grenades down there and be ready for an assault from that direction, or something like that. These are just some tips that I have given from my limited, obviously, experience of playing the game thus far and how I've learned to be somewhat successful. Again, limited amount of time so far, but it's worked out for me pretty well. I'm doing very well in this game compared to how I thought I would, considering I had very little recovery time on Halo and I still don't even have Xbox Live, so it's not even like I can play non-stop all the time. But... I'm doing well so far. How are you guys doing in the game? I'd like to hear how you all like the multiplayer, how you're doing compared to other previous Halos. Personally, I am playing at my, like at the skill level of the peak of Halo 3 for me, which is extremely insane. And I'm 10 times better than I ever played in Reach. So that's all crazy. That's kind of weird. But let me know how you guys are doing. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe as always. And have a nice day. Yeah, yeah.